da 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 Dear God, oh, oh, freaking freak! Oh, 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 let me fix this. <laughs> oh, dear God, Where, where's my stick? I can't move my hands. Where, where's my stick and stick? There. What? Why is it not on my body? Put it on, please. Ugh, I hate putting this thing on. Oh, that's right. This is a new stick, isn't it? Uh, all right, we'll be right back. Huh! There we go, my arm's back on. Even though I can't really do anything, all I can do is swing it back and forth. But anyways, it's really great to feel a little bit more human, you know? <laughs> actually have control of myself, even though technically I'm not in control of myself at all. I'm actually just some puppet, just some person that's controlling me right here. But yeah, anyways guys, welcome, welcome back to Puppet Review Stuff, where we're not going to talk about the sadness of my existence, but we're going to be talking about a brand new movie starring Genie and Spider-Man, starring in Disney's newest film, Spies in Disguise. <laughs> a brand new Blue Skies um, uh, movie, which is, you know, if you don't know, they're the guys that made Ice Age. All five of them. Five damn Ice Age movies. Anyways, guys, this movie, um, you know, by the trailers, you would think it's just one of those generic kids films that are just like really stupid. But in all honesty, this movie's actually not terrible. It's actually really enjoyable. Uh, I wouldn't say I would go see it again. I wouldn't say it's better than the Frozen 2. And sure, I had a lot of problems with Frozen 2, but in all honesty, I do like Frozen 2 more than this film because I, I don't know, maybe because I'm a, I'm a Frozen fan, but more just like it had a lot more interesting themes. I don't know why I like Frozen 2 more than this movie. Maybe because of the songs. Maybe this should have been a musical. I actually scratched that. I don't I don't want to see musical Will Smith anymore. I, after Aladdin, I am I do not want to see that. But anyways, guys, of course, this movie has that classic trope where the black character is turned into some other weird creature or just gone for the rest of the film. Yep, it's not like we've had those before. It's not like we've had that in Princess and the Frog where they just like they couldn't handle having black characters in the movie. So they turned into the frog so the white people will be satisfied. And of course we have that in the new movie which is coming out, Soul. Soul, yeah. Where they flat out just kill the black guy. I guess that, that trope where the black guy dies first just does never end. And of course in this film, he turns into a pigeon. It worked. A pigeon. You can turn to any other animal a pigeon. Oh, okay, okay. Spies in disguise. <laughs> yeah, I, like when I first saw the trailer and then I saw the shadow of the pigeon, I was like, no, you, no, no, please, no. Why do you have to keep doing these to black people? Come on, we, we deserve to be on screen. We deserve to be on anime movies. Luckily, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse dealt with that problem and it was great. That's why Spider-Man to Spider-Verse is a great film. Go watch it. Anyways, guys, this movie, not terrible. Not actually terrible at all. I thought I was going to kind of be annoyed by Tom Holland's character. You know, all honesty, Tom Holland's character was my favorite part of the film. Really great. The voice acting's not terrible except for a couple of characters, but yeah, it's a pretty solid film. So, without all that the way, let's go ahead and get things started. So, he's a human being. That's hot. How that man is just a common ground that we live in And getting this bread like the pop pigeon I find it though I never paid attention When I with you I can't complete any bigger small mission Alright everybody, it looks like we're going to be talking about spies in the sky. So basically, when Will Smith's character is on the run, he must get the help from Tom Holland And of course, that help doesn't that, that's not that great because he turns into a pigeon yeah, it turns into a pigeon. Now he has to do some weird antics with pigeons and stuff, and they have to go on an adventure. Assault the bad guy with a robotic hand. Yeah, trust me, this is it sounds stupid, but it's actually not that bad. Um, it's not as bad as of course Arctic Dog with the robotic walrus legs. Okay, I've got it done. There's not really much else to say. If they go on an adventure, learn about building a friendship. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. 
Thank you, Derek. Anyways, guys, Spies in Disguise. This is, it's a pretty good film. It's pretty enjoyable. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's kind of, there's a lot of parts of the movie that's a little bland and kind of boring. But still, it's actually more enjoyable than you would actually think. Now, of course, it's the movie's about uh, Lance Sterling. Um, actually, that's that's too long of a name. I'm just going to call him um, Will Smith. Of course, Will Smith is the best spy in his, you know, place until, you know, some person disguises himself as Lance Sterling. And now Lance is on the run. Wow, we've never seen that before. We've never seen where the spy is running away from his own like organization wow that that's never been a thing that's never been something this is a generic spy movie people this is just generic everything the the gadgets the running away the the villain which no honestly the villains actually not terrible we've had a lot of terrible like um animated villains for a while like the villain in most anime movies are just not that great at all this was actually pretty solid um not amazing not amazing, because I would have liked to have gone more into his backstory, because, you know, his whole thing was, I'm getting my revenge because you decided to almost try to kill me, so I'm going to skip revenge. And it's never really established who he was. It's never established that eventually, like, it maybe could have been, like, a side stander, like a by like, not a side stander, a bystander. It could have been a bystander that just happened to be there, and he, like, like, his, every, like, Lance Sterling messed him up. Like, he, like, his heart of his face is just, like, gone, and then, like, his arm's basically torn off. So, I mean, sure, I mean, that's not that bad. You get that cool robot hand, man. I mean, that that's pretty cool. But I would like to go more into his story, like, more specific on him. Like, his motivation, so it's like, you know, you can sympathize with him. But I never really sympathized, sympathized, sy sympathized with this main villain at all. But still, he's pretty cool. He's, he's actually a threat. He actually kills a guy. Actually freaking kills a guy. Like, he wasn't, like, anything special. What they just killed him, which actually showed that there was actually stakes in this film, which I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this movie's whole theme is basically about, you know, there's other ways than just killing your enemies. It's, you know, you can just do it in a more peaceful way. Yeah, I wish they would have showed that in a realistic way. I mean, and just the real world is just like not everyone can change and there's not always a peaceful way to deal with a situation, which is kind of sad to say. Um, but this movie tries to do that, but it, not in the best way because every situation, like they do it through like weird, just crazy science stuff that would never happen in real life. Like, sure, like, it's understandable that, it's understandable for Tom Holland's character to want to do this, because he, he has a friend, another backstory, with guess what? Guess what? Like, what could possibly want him to not be violent? Oh, could it be because a parent died? Wow, that's super original! Wow, a parent's death in an animated film. That has never been shown before. That is something we've never seen before. Yeah, we, we've we never, oh my god. Really? I didn't want this to happen again because it just keeps happening, but the parent is dead once again. You know guys how I feel about the parent dying. It, it's very annoying. I, do, I don't care about it. I really don't like that because it's just overused. Like I think kids understand that kids mourn their parent. Luckily, it's not overdone, but it is his reasoning for not wanting to be violent, so trying to change the organization. Just, but kid, come on, kid. There's a lot of situations where you could have killed. Like you should have like done violence. Like there's a part where like like the villain was about to choke out Tom Holland or like kill him. And sure, he found a peaceful situation to do it. But in certain situations, there's not going to be that many situations. Like pigeons. There's a whole bunch of pigeons that run like breadcrumbs in the pocket. Like. You're not gonna, there's not gonna be many situations like that that could possibly help you. Not every situation is gonna be peaceful. That That's what I'm saying, people. Um, just, his mind is one-sided and he should understand that sometimes you have to be violent with people. I feel like maybe, if, like, there's, they could just, the movie could have showed a little bit of a silver lining, like, a balance between those two. I mean, they're just kind of Steven universe it. I mean, the Steven Universe, you know, everything is just talked out. Basically, Steven talks to the villain and they become good guys now. Yeah, well, I mean, sure, it's kind of changed with Stephen Muir's future, where Stephen actually had to get physically violent with Jasper to get her to understand things and actually sort of build a relationship. Which, in that kind of case, I like that. But this just shows that the, this movie is just talking about that violence is bad and you shouldn't hurt anyone, and that's kind of a weird message. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that already, so, yeah. Anyways, and also, that's not the only, like, theme of the film. Also, of course, it's one of those things where, like, both characters don't, like, have the same ideals, and also, like, of course, <laughs> 
the Will Smith's character is a loner. He's like, I do everything alone. And of course, at the end of the movie, he's going to learn about friendship and magic and how the, the magic of teamwork. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that's in almost every single animated film. That's in a lot of them. Learning not to do everything by yourself and alone. Like, we saw that in Frozen. We did. Like, learning to not do everything by yourself. Yeah. Kind of like it had even a Batman name. It had a, it even had one of those moments where the character pushes the other character away to protect it. Yep, that that's in this movie because you know they're 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 not clever. Like we we all saw that a mile away, especially. So he pushes him in the submarine. And he's like, I just I don't want you to get hurt or anyone else to close to me to get hurt. Yeah, that's dumb. That's dumb. I don't know why this movie had that, but yeah. Anyways, uh, let's move on. So yeah, B he's a pigeon. He's a pigeon, which, in that honestly, that's actually the most enjoyable part, is when he's a pigeon. Um, the beginning really does start out pretty slow and kind of bland. You get this generic spy thing, running away, ooh. And everyone all likes Tom Holland because he's weird. Weird, yeah, nothing else. Maybe because they could just, you know, don't like him because he likes peaceful things. But no, because he's weird. Okay. And you know, there's nothing really he does, like, weird. He just creates weird inventions, I guess, but that, that doesn't make him weird. Um, but yeah, um, Will Smith's performance in this was okay. It wasn't amazing. I wouldn't say it was groundbreaking. It's just Will Smith. Just Will Smith. He doesn't do any kind of voice. It's just Will Smith doing, oh boy, whoa, man. Just, yeah, he just that basic Will Smith stuff. <laughs> like, like, honestly, I mean, just I can't just not see this character as just Will Smith playing spy. I, I can't see that. And Tom Holland, of course, just sounds like Tom Holland. Not not British Tom Holland. He just sounds like American Spider-Man Tom Holland in all honesty. So, yeah, that, that was kind of distracting. They didn't try to change their voices at all. And then, like, onward, it seems like Tom Holland's kind of changing his voice in this one. He doesn't really do that at all. The animation is actually not terrible. I actually kind of like the animation. Maybe not the character design per se, but the animation, the way it's done, the lighting, the shading, it's actually really good. Really nice looking movie. That's all I can say. There's a couple of things I do have problems with. Like there's like three characters, the three characters that are trying to capture Lance Sterling. They are so annoying. Like every time they're on screen, they just do not work. And especially there's this one guy that's just like, oh man, that's lit, man. That, that's lit. Oh man, that was fire! Like, oh, you're kidding me. It was actually voiced by a DJ, so I'm not surprised that that character says that stuff. But still, that's not funny. Like, the first time he did it, that was kind of funny because it was so stupid. But he kept doing it through the movie, and I'm like, please stop. You're not helping this film at all. You're not, you're kind of downgrading it a little bit. And then there was Eyeball. I, yeah, they're, they're called literal names, like Eyeball Nighting Ears. Ears had like a sound box, that was it. And then eyes had giant glasses, so you know she's smart. I don't remember anything that she does in this film at all. And then there's like the one that's trying to capture um, Lance Sterling. Sterling. Don't remember him at all. Don't. I mean, not him, it's a her. I don't remember her character at all. I don't remember what she does at all. She's just there. She exists, and I guess we have to be okay with that. Not okay with that at all. Um, so I, I think that's really it. There's not really much to talk about this film, but it's an okay film. I mean, there's a couple of funny moments. This is not a laugh out loud film. Um, just, I mean, I do, there's a couple of good jokes, like basically when, like, Will Smith said the F word and they censored it. That was pretty funny. And there's a lot of annoying stuff, like the other pigeons trying to, like, be around, like, Will Smith, which was kind of annoying. And, you know, it was kind of weird how Tom Holland was always, like, so gay for Will Smith. It was kind of weird. I like, just could not unsee it. Because he was like, wow. Like, we, like Tom Holland really wanted that ass. He really, really wanted him. Like, he kept hugging him and stuff. And, like, he was like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't go more into this. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and not much else to say. I guess I would recommend it. If you have nothing really else to see, which right, right now, there's not much to see except cats. Which I have not seen yet because reasons. But I'll see it. I don't know. Comment down below if you actually want to review Playmobil. I have seen the movie, but it's been so long and I've just been so busy with other things in my life that I just couldn't have time to review it. So if you want me to review Playmobil, because I know that's a really bad movie and maybe you guys kind of like when I review bad movies. So, yeah. I don't really have much else to say about this film. There's not really much. Not at all. I mean, the villain, I talk about the characters, the animation, 
Um, there's some really slow parts. Uh, I mean, I well, I like to love, lo like learn a lot more about Tom Holland's character, especially how his mother died, because they never really go into detail on how she died or and why his motivations are really. I mean, sure, it's about his mother's death, but they don't know how she died though. And we don't know how, like, the villain basically, like, hates Sterling. Like, I understand why he hates Lance Sterling, but we don't know, like, what his involvement was back then when Lance kind of hurt him really badly. So, we don't really understand anything else about it. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of my, like, nitpicks about the film. Um, it could be a little bit shorter as well. Like, there's, like, there's a lot of things that just, they just do it for a long time. There's some cool action stuff, like, I like the car scene. Um, yeah, I like the car scene. That's kind of like, and I sort of like the finale. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's really it for me. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. All right, take me up. Yeah. Oh, 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 o